Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with the Pig Site, and today we're here with Dr. Patrick Webb. He is the Assistant Chief Veterinarian at the National Pork Board. Thanks for being with us today, Patrick. Thanks for having me. Very good. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about AgView, and we've had a, a few conversations about this, but it sounds like there's some advancements and some updates that uh, you wanted to share. So um, I'm going to leave it open to you to tell us what's new with AgView. You know, Sarah, as, as we visited before, AgView is a, a free opt-in uh, technology solution that the Pork Checkoff funded that is basically a, a database and dashboard that allows producers to share traceability data, secure pork supply documentation, and laboratory test results to their state animal health official in the face of a foreign animal disease outbreak. And that's what we've been focused on the last two years is, is driving producer adoption of AgView uh, as, a, as a step stone to preparedness for the industry. But um, as we've gotten user feedback, you know, our producers have said, hey, you know what, this traceability data that I'm providing here, I'd like to provide it to our state vet prior to an outbreak. And so we do have a data opt-in feature now for those producers that are forward thinking and, and would wanna share locations and movements prior to an outbreak. This just puts uh, our industry in front of the eight ball instead of behind it when the state vet needs that information the most. And so uh, we've been able to uh, provide that feature for our producers and we've, we've seen some adoption of that. Uh, I think producers re readily understand that uh, they're part of the solution in an outbreak. You know, we need to be able to provide the good traceability data that our pork producers uh, use every day for their management of their, their herds uh, to those state animal health officials when they need to make decisions, these risk-based decisions related to whether you can move or not. And so, uh, you know, the, the product's been uh, readily well received, but the improvements to it, we're now able to track feed movements in AgView. We can track movements of mortalities. We can track rendering movements. You know, we just keep adding all of these nice features in there that allow more of a day-to-day -day value for our producers, but more importantly, the ability for those producers then to, to play a strong role in the response. And that is being able to provide that information to a state vet so they can determine where disease is and isn't, so we can move towards regionalization, which gets us back into business quicker. Very good. And, and you really answered my second question, which is kind of why it's so important to do this ahead of time, right? Um, but, but we can't emphasize that enough, right? When an outbreak hits, it is absolutely critical that these producers already be uh, in the loop with a program like this, right? Yeah, you know, every state vet needs to have a state picture of what's going on related to movements in and out of the states, in and out of control areas. And then USDA, who will be the regionalizers for us, the, the, the uh, uh, government agency responsible for setting up regions, they need a, a national picture. And so if all of our producers, if we have a high level of producer participation, the data is in there. The data is, is formatted in a way and, and able to be shared at, at the, the click of a button. Um, we can give that state picture, we can give that national picture, and that leads to that regionalization that we need desperately in an outbreak so we can get back into business, commerce, and trade. Very good. Excellent. Um, one quick question to wrap up here, kind of what's the biggest barrier to, to getting producers to, uh, to sign up to a program like this? Yeah. I think a lot of it is is the biggest barrier is just getting the word out so they understand what AgView is and then understand the different ways. We've got four different ways for data to get into AgView um, that, that we try to make it as easy as possible for our pork producers, whether you're a show pig producer or you're a, a large uh, production system. Um, we have ways that make it very, very easy to get data into AgView. We also need to help them understand that that's their data. The data is confidential. They're the ones who determine when that data is shared. Well, yeah, you can share it prior to an outbreak and that's great, um, but it's really just educating them about the product. If you set a producer down across from me, in about 15 minutes, we could have a really good conversation where they could understand the value and the ease of getting data in there. Um, but we've got 60,000 producers out there, that's 60,000 conversations. Um, and so, right. uh, you know, for those producers coming to World Pork Expo, we're going to focus 100% in our booth on preparedness. It's that path that they need to walk. And part of that is AgView. If they want to dig down into AgView, ask questions about anything, secure pork supply, U.S. ship, doesn't matter. Stop by our booth. We'll have subject matter experts there for you and we'll engage you in the conversation. And so it doesn't really matter if you have five pigs or you have 50,000 pigs, right? Everybody 
who is raising pigs on their on their farm or their property needs to be involved in this. Absolutely. You know, we have uh, we have show pig producers using AgView. We have uh, pork powerhouse top 40 producers using AgView and everything in between 835 producer users. That covers a lot of ground in the industry. But like I said, 60,000 producers out there, we really need to move forward and get everybody to adopt the technology uh, as a means to prepare the industry. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Patrick. Thank you, Sarah. This is Sarah Mikesell with the Pig Site.